Small as a pinhead or big as a dinner plate, multicolored or bizarrely shaped, spiders are extraordinary, supreme hunters among invertebrates and the Earth's most numerous predators. They are, too, nature's master silk weavers, but the stuff these small creatures spin for everyday use is strong enough to aid space technology. But they're very good at surviving. They're extremely numerous and belong to the world's largest group of land animals, the arthropods. Two-thirds of all spider families live in Africa, and their size varies tremendously, from a 12 millimeter community spider to something almost as big as a saucer and very hairy, a baboon spider. All spiders have eight legs, fangs, and they make silk, the delicate fiber that so typifies them. Spiders are arachnid members of the arthropod family, but not all arachnids are spiders. A velvet mite is an arachnid. It has eight legs too. So does the solifuge, or red roman, a creature with startlingly outsized jaws to chop up its prey. But neither mite nor solifuge, nor this bizarre creature, the whip scorpion, can produce silk. And that is the thread from which the spider's very life hangs. Like their fellow arthropods, the insects, spiders have an external skeleton. It's almost a suit of armor to shield soft, boneless insides. And an external skeleton can be molded into virtually any shape imaginable. A very visible difference between spiders and insects is numbers of legs and body parts. Insects have six, not eight legs, and three body parts. A spider only has two and all eight legs are attached to the upper part of its hourglass figure, none at all to the abdomen, container for vital organs. Most spiders have eight eyes, some six or fewer. Many have poor eyesight, but not a jumping spider. Its large middle eyes occupy more space in its head than its brain does. They work like a camera zoom lens, focusing on fine detail, while the rest spot movement with 360-degree panoramic lenses. Spiders have two short front limbs called pedipalps. The females are adapted for feeding, the males for mating, proof of where the priorities of each lie. Spiders are hairy creatures. The hairs take the place of ears, nose and taste buds. They can feel too. Like a joystick, each hair moves when hit by vibrations from predator or prey. Spiders are so sensitive to vibrations on the web they can tell exactly what's moving where. Silk threads are produced in special glands and extruded through nozzle-like spinnerets. This baboon spider is using its spinnerets to position the silk, which is incredibly fine and which has still not revealed all its manufacturing secrets to science. Spiders weave different silks for different occasions. A spider normally immobilizes its prey with one bite from needle-sharp venomous fangs. Then it can take its time over a meal, unable to fight back. Most spiders catch their food in webs, but there are other trapping methods. A fishing spider baits fish with its own legs as it straddles the water surface. If a small fish comes to investigate, the spider pounces.
However, fishing spiders don't just eat fish. Anything small enough to come within range is chancing it. And it's hard to hide from all those spidery eyes. The spider must try to keep its fragile legs away from the frog so it doesn't damage them or pull them out. The spider's venom will slowly tranquilize the frog and stop it struggling, so it will not be able to fight back or escape as the spider liquefies it and begins to eat it alive. Spiders can't chew their food or swallow it whole. They eat by pumping digestive juices into their prey and sucking up the resulting soup through their ready-made drinking straws, hollow fangs. The process is speeded up by using mandibles to soften prey, but it will still take hours to eat the frog. Webs are the most popular traps. This one is a hermit spider's, and tonight it's reeling them in. Without its coating of sticky droplets, the beetle might trampoline right off again. But the more it struggles, the more it's stuck. The spider has felt its vibrations and runs down to see what's landed. bitten and immobilized. Now for silk thread to tie a parcel, but it will have to speed up because there's only one thing better than a beetle. Two beetles. A run of good luck can't always hold. At least this one's going nowhere. One neatly tied food parcel, which the spider now cuts free, ready to hoist up to its retreat. It joins other insect morsels, hanging there like sausages on hooks. Tropical tentweb spiders package first, bite afterwards. The spider gives a skilled demonstration of the art of high-speed shrink wrapping. When it's finished, the silk will keep the packaged insect fresh right up to its eat-by date. And just think, this cling film is totally biodegradable. Eyes are this spider's key to a catch. It's no good taking a flying leap if you can't see exactly where you're going to land. Spot on, and it gets it right on virtually every jump. The fly has multiple eyes, but they haven't seen the danger, a motionless flower crab spider. Just waiting to give it a deadly hug. A hug and a bite and the fly's immobilized. Almost immediately, the flower crab spider's injection of digestive juices gets to work.
Rainforests are superb spider habitat. They buzz and hum with insects. They are storehouses of spider food. Dazzling spray and superfine web look like one, easy to make a fatal air traffic mistake. Most spiders live alone, but some species prefer company. This web in South Africa's KwaZulu-Natal is Spider City. Thousands of tiny community nest spiders all share one big silken home, several meters high. The stone nest spider lives in a very different residence. It's a safe house made of sand and bits of detritus. It keeps the spider hidden, but it's easy to run out for a quick bite. Spiders lay hundreds of tiny eggs and tie them up in delicate silk bundles. Sometimes they reinforce the bundles with vegetation or sand. Some females, like the fishing spider, keep hold of their precious bundles until the eggs hatch. A female rain spider has mated and is about to lay her eggs. She'll wrap them in a silk parcel and then probably in leaves for camouflage. Mating is a once-in-a-lifetime experience in the world of spiders. Just once, and a female has enough sperm for life. She stores it internally, and when she lays her eggs, she takes out what she needs to fertilize them. <laughs> 